Good morning, students. Yesterday we had discussed the summary and the explanation of the poem "The Heart of the Tree," written by Henry Cuyler Burner. And today we are going to discuss central idea and the bag exercises of the poem. Open your copies and write down the heading "Central Idea." Before starting. I will remind you to read your poem again and again as regular reading will help you memorize the text by the end of this poem you will be able to explain meanings of difficult words as used in the poem explain the poem in your own words understand how the poet tells about importance of planting trees and benefits we gain from the trees and you will be able to write the central idea so before starting with the central idea let me tell you what central idea is central idea is the main idea of the poem now here in the poem the heart of the tree the poet henry cuyler burner tells us about planting trees and benefits we gain from it he gives us the example that trees give us shade and bring rain and helps in the process of regeneration he even describes the tree as a friend of sun and sky as a flag which fly freely in the breeze and he also describes the tree as a home for the bird and tells its importance in our life now let us start with the central idea through this poem the poet brings home the message that a tree gives us shade brings rain and helps in the process of regeneration The poet describes a tree as a friend of sun and sky as a flag flying in the breeze and home for the birds to tell its importance in our lives Now open your books at page number 36 Let us start with the exercises read and understand answer the following questions orally question 1 what is meant by he plants a friend of sun and sky refer to stanza 1 for the answer question 2 do you think that trees form an integral part of the nature explain with the reference to the first stanza refer the explanation of stanza 1 that i have discussed for the answer question 3 how do trees help mankind refer to explanation of stanza 2 for the answer question 4 How does planting a tree express the thought of civic good? Refer explanation of stanza 3 for the answer. Question 5. The joy that unborn eyes shall see. What does the poet mean by these words? Refer to explanation of stanza 2 for the answer. Question 6. Pick the correct option. In this poem, the poet mainly conveys a a tree takes years to grow, b that planting a tree is a difficult task, c the benefits of planting a tree, or d how trees are used by man. Pick out two examples each of alliteration and assonance from the poem. I have already discussed what alliteration and assonance are and also the two alliteration and assonance 
used in the poem so right answer referring to my previous explanation c find five pairs of rhyming words from the poem now rhyming words are the repetition of similar sounds for example low blow tree free now find the five pairs of rhyming words from the poem and write it i hope you have understood the poem revise it thoroughly thank you